Hello, my YouTube channel subscribers to Big Bill Anderson's Death Tours. Today, I am near the city of Superior, Arizona, which is out that way, just a couple miles. And I am here at the historic Pinal Cemetery, here to visit a lady that is part of the Old West history. And we just walk through this little area right here. And I'm gonna take you out to her grave. I've been here before, probably about uh, four years ago or so. And she's buried just here inside gates and we are here right here at the gravesite of Cecilia Blaylock aka Maddie Earp. She was the common law wife of Wyatt Earp and I have to say uh, although she did commit suicide on July 3rd, 1888, and I'm going to tell you the whole story of her life uh, in the narrative here, but I wanted to show you this is where she is laid to rest right here. And uh, she could not be in a more absolute beautiful scenic location than where she is. Absolutely amazing. And I'm going to tell you the story of Manny Blaylock. Stay with me, my friends. Manny was born Celia Ann Blaylock in Wisconsin in January of 1850 and raised near Fairfax, Iowa. Celia, or Celie as she was known as a child, attended Sunday school, learned biblical verses, and was taught to live by the Ten Commandments. When her older sister Martha Jane was 17, she was married, and Celia saw the writing on the wall and had no desire to live the rest of her life on a farm. In mid-1868, Celia ran away with her younger sister Sarah to avoid the farm life. She was reasonably skilled seamstress and may have sought work in that field, but both girls found life on their own very difficult. There were very few employment opportunities for young girls. They likely headed west to one of the growing towns along the Kansas, Iowa, Missouri border areas. Sarah returned home less than a year later, shamed by her experience. Her parents greeted her cheerlessly and took her back in disgrace. At some point after leaving home, Celia chose the alias Maddie probably in an effort to conceal her identity and remain as anonymous as possible. However, court records indicate that she continued to call herself by her childhood name, Seely. The first known records of Maddie's presence is a picture taken in Fort Scott in 1871. Court records show that she adopted prostitution as her profession, beginning in 1872 in Fort Scott, then later in Dodge City. Maddie Blaylock may have met Wyatt between 1871 and 1873 in this time period in Dodge City. She continued to work as a prostitute during their early years together. In the 1880 United States Census, Maddie is listed as Wyatt Earp's wife, though there is no record of a legal marriage. Blaylock was said to have suffered from headaches, and while in Tombstone, Arizona, she became addicted to laudanum, a then-common opiate and painkiller. It is not exactly known when Earp and Blaylock ended their relationship. After the gunfight at the O.K. Corral and the March 18, 1882 assassination of Morgan Earp, what? Wyatt Earp, his youngest brother Warren, and a posse of other deputies began a vendetta ride. They hunted down some of the outlaw cowboys 
they believe responsible for maiming Virgil Earp and killing Morgan. In early April, Wyatt left Arizona for New Mexico and then Colorado. Maddie left Tombstone with other family members for Colton, California. She apparently expected to receive a telegram from Wyatt telling her where to meet him, but it never arrived. Instead, Earp went to San Francisco in late 1882 and began a relationship with Josephine Sadie Marcus, who had been the common-law wife of Johnny Behan in Tombstone. Blaylock left Colton for Pinal City, Arizona Territory, a town that Blaylock and Earp had stopped in for two months in 1879 on their way to Tombstone. When the couple had been there three years earlier, it was a booming silver town. Upon Maddie's return, however, the silver boom had died down and the bulk of the town's population had moved on. Blaylock had planned to return to prostitution in Pinal City, but was the, with most of the prospective clientele gone with the silver, making a living there proved difficult. I'll show you a photo of Pinal City in the late 1800s and what it looks like today. On July 3rd, 1888, Blaylock took a lethal dose of laudanum and alcohol. Her death was ruled as suicide by opium poisoning. Since she was a longtime abuser of laudanum and alcohol, it is possible she overdosed by accident and died of respiratory failure. The coroner's report of her death is brief. She was only 38 years old. Actress Dana Wheeler Nicholson portrayed Maddie in the 1993 film Tombstone, starring Kurt Russell and Val Kilmer. So I wanted to stop by here, my friends, and just show you uh, the grave of another Old West uh, person of interest. And uh, I said a few words of prayer over Maddie's grave here. I talked to her and actually sat here for about a half hour while doing this video and uh, tried to talk to her spirit. And uh, I did not get a response that was audible, but I did let her know that there are still people that care. And I, for one, love old history, in particular, Western history. And uh, I thought it was time to put her on video here for Big Bill Anderson's Death Tours. I thank you all from the bottom of my heart for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Ring the notification bell. And there's a lot more videos coming, my friends. And uh, let me know if you like this type of video. I enjoy going to cemeteries, and no pun intended, but I find them very relaxing and peaceful, and uh, I just enjoy going there and paying my respects to uh, folks, okay? So thank you, and uh, have a beautiful day. Adios, amigos.